welcome back to Seasons and the chapter in the book we're going to talk about today is Don't Let Your Light Be Diminished. When I was a teenager in my early teens, every girl in my neighborhood was collecting little oil decorative lamps. Our local mall was selling out of them all the time. And I had two or three of those and I would create a cozy little den for myself where I would light my little lighting area by those lights because I thought that they would inspire me more. If I didn't keep up with cleaning those on a regular basis, those lamps got pretty dirty pretty quickly. It just took a quick scrub and soapy water and they'd be sparkling clean. But being a typical teenager, I didn't do that that often. And so while maybe one night I would only need one lamp, within three or four days, I'd have to light the second lamp. And within a week, I'd have to light the third. All because I just wasn't doing daily maintenance on them. Jesus calls us to be the light of the world. If we're not keeping care, of that lamp, then that lamp's chimney is not going to be able to reflect that light that God has put in us. Now, how can our lights get so dingy? Well, there's the soot and grime of the day, of just everyday life, where we are walking amongst people who've got a whole lot of issues and there's a whole bunch of stuff that might be coming off of them that kind of clings to us and we take it home at the end of the day and that little bit of a film of dust and grime sticks to our glass chimney, if you want to put it that way. And then there are the ways that we've reacted to the world. Perhaps our attitude stuck that day. Perhaps we outright sinned or whatever, but whatever we're going through in our internal life gets stuck on top of the grime and oily bit that came from just walking around everyday life. So what do we do about it? I would encourage you to spend time every day, even if it's just putting on some good worship music when you come home and you're tired and you're exhausted and you're feeling cranky and you don't know why just hit the play button on some good uplifting worship music and just get your praise on and just allow worship to center you on the one who matters the most and then as you're doing stuff around your house Ask the Lord, just have a, a conversation and say, hey, God, is there anything that I did today that has contributed to some of the gunk and the stuff that I'm feeling right now? And if a few things pop up to the surface, deal with them and ask the Lord just to wash you clean in those areas after all. It was not beneath Jesus to kneel in front of his disciples and wash their dusty, stinky, grimy feet at the end of the day. Did he do that with a sense of judgment? No. He just washed their feet because they needed to be washed. So allow the Lord to wash you clean after a really rough day and keep short accounts so you don't get a whole bunch of stuff piling up to the point that you don't feel his light shining within you, no matter you being able to reflect his light to the world around you.